Ideas is a wonderful project inspired by V. L. B. for the glory of God, designed to help you move forward and complete your book, project, play, work, dream, video projects, and more. Join her in special sessions to embark on a new chapter. Veronica believes in the power of words and ideas manifesting and flying. She has been graced to write numerous books, plays, <laughs> collections and video projects and to host special gatherings hi this is veronica does heaven have an idea for me years ago i asked the lord that question does heaven have an idea for me he's given me many ideas along the way but i'm excited about some fresh and new areas god has taken us in so we just want to share you may want to join us at some point in time. I do sense the Lord saying, be mindful. He does have an idea for you also to step out on upon this season. While I may not be talking to everybody, but I am talking to somebody. And this idea we're stepping off on is with the book, Man of the Cloth. A book God blessed us to write years ago. We are going to be out and about. And we hope at some point in time you can join us for an inspirational cutting edge study of the novel Man of the Cloth. With the main character Evangelist Thurman Shackles. We are going to go on an adventure 
and there's going to be laughter. There is going to be revelation flowing. There is going to be a whole new dimension of what Bible study looks like in a sense. So I'm excited to see what the Holy Spirit will do in our midst. But get ready to be rained upon. I'm sensing the fresh and the new. I'm sensing God is up to something good. So I hope that you can join us. Our email address is at the bottom of the page. And that's VLB underscore idea at AOL.com. The Lord is saying that he is really mindful of you. And at this season, he's bringing new divine connections into your life. And you're going to be inspired. You're going to be stirred. You're going to be charged. You're going to be uh, pulled up out of your comfort zone, so to speak. And that's by the word of the Lord. That's by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. And God is going to use you in a brand new way in this season. And also, since the Lord's saying, don't be afraid to... uh, Enjoy his quiet time. Don't be afraid to allow his peace to rest upon you wherever you go that men lives are touched by the peace of God. So you be encouraged and know that this is a season that he's turning things around and turning things in your favor. And where there was hesitation, there's now going to be manifestation because you're going to keep it moving. All right. Hey, God bless you. You are invited to IDEA. IDEA got started because one day we were sitting and we asked God, we said, Father, does heaven have an idea for me? And he dropped this idea in my mind. Sometimes thoughts come. I mean, just so many things come. I'm trying to grab and do this and do this. I have this thing that I love to say, and that is whatever God has given me, every talent, every ability, Whatever he's given me, I want to use it for the glory of God as he leads. And so here we are with idea. And idea is a place where you are invited to come. And we want to be used by God to just help you step out of your comfort zone. Uh, used by God to um, uh, inspire you. Used by God to help you in any way that we can assist you. Used by God to pray that God will bless you to Keep it moving or start it moving. Used by God in whatever way God would desire that we be a blessing in your life. So everything that idea starts with a conversation. It may be that you want to come in and have a cup of coffee, a cup of tea, or what have you. You may want to come in and chat and have a little conversation. Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. And this is King James Version. Amplified says, For I know the plans and thoughts that I have for you, saith the Lord, plans for peace and well-being and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. All right. Father, we receive your word in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. It's time to shift and to remember Paul and Silas. They could have drifted in their prison situation. They could have allowed being cast into the prison dungeon to cause them to just drift in a place of misery and in a place of darkness. But instead of just drifting alone, they shifted. They shifted to a place of prayer. They shifted to a place of praise and a place of worship. So God is saying this hour, don't drift. Shift, shift and see what his word will do. Shift and see and behold what his promises will do. Shift, don't drift. I 
I may not be talking to everybody, but I am talking to somebody. God is putting a pep back in your step. He's bringing that smile that you used to have. He's bringing it back from the inside out. God is causing you to bloom. God is doing a new thing with you. God is for you. There's a lot of news going on in the land, but God wants you to know that he too has a forecast for your life. And that is that you have life and have it more abundantly. I do sense that God is even now beginning to stir the pot. He said it's not what it looks like. It's not what it sounds like. And there's a lot of news going on in the land. And the land is changing. A lot of things are going on. But God is not unrighteous to forget your labor of love. And to remember that God took care of his people when they were in the land of Goshen. God loves his people. People and God will chasten those that he loved. But to remember, he has an idea for you. He has something more for you to do. So you are to come forth. We're calling you forth. Come forth. Stand. Come forth. Be expectant. Come forth and get your praise back. Come forth. Get that song back. Come forth and let laughter spring out. A merry heart does good like a medicine. And remember, God has some more ideas for you. So keep it moving. Father, we thank you right now, God, for this individual that is before us, Lord. And we thank you and praise you, Father God, and we bless you because we know a word spoken in due season, how good it is. And I just want to say to you that God is mindful of you and that you are not to be discouraged, but be encouraged because he that is for you outweighs countless ones that would be against you. He that is for you outweighs any sickness or disease. So be healed. Rise up and walk in the name of Jesus. Be free. For where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Godspeed on your journey. Mark 6, 31. Then, because so many people were coming and going that they did not even have a chance to eat, he said to them, Come with me by yourselves to a quiet place and get some rest. Aren't you glad that there are times God will invite you to come with him by yourself to a quiet place to get some rest. Hush, children, hush. Somebody's calling my name. Oh, hush. Psalms 23, verses 1, 2, and 3. 
The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Hush, children, hush. Somebody's calling my name. Oh, hush. For someone, I sense God is desiring to meet with you early in the morning. I sense something special is about to take place. I sense a river of revelation and illumination coming forth at this hour like no other time in your life. So get ready and make your appointment. In the world today, there are a lot of things that are calling for our attention. But here is another point of view. Philippians 4, 6 through 7. The message translation. Don't fret or worry. Instead of worrying, pray. Let petitions and praises shape your worries into prayers. Letting God know your concerns. Before you know it, a sense of God's wholeness, everything coming together for good, will come and settle you down. It's wonderful what happens when Christ displaces worry at the center of your life. Oh, and amen to that. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Yes, God. The Lord is saying, it is time for a makeover. Yay! It is time for a makeover, a serious makeover, an authentic makeover, a powerful makeover. And that he is going to use your voice and to remember what he did in the beginning. When the earth was void and without form, he began to open his mouth and speak. And I sense God charging you at this hour to open your mouth and speak. And to begin to decree and declare the word of the Lord over your life, over your body, over your ministry, over your family, over every organ in your body, over your limbs, over every cell, begin to speak forth the word of the Lord because your makeover is in your mouth. Bless God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Woo! All right now. Years ago, we used to go to the nursing home, a minister friend and I. And we would go to see a church mother that was at this particular nursing home. And when we got to the nursing home, there was another lady in a room and her name was Rosie. Hey, God bless you. You are invited. So just step right in. And have a seat, have a seat. Yes. I hear the Lord saying that he wants to birth something through your conversation with a 
another individual that there should be a birthing, there should be a sharing, there should be a partnership. There's something that he's going to do for his glory. You'd be surprised what can take place in the midst of two friends sharing or those in unity that are sharing. There were two sisters and they would be out shopping and they would say, it's well at my house because I got coffee and I have cream. That was their thing. If they had coffee and if they had cream in the house, it was a good day and they would start to laugh about it. But you'd be surprised what God can do with something as simple as that statement with you. All right, I'm out of here. I sense the Lord saying, you'd be surprised what can take place when the right temperature is released. You can set out to make a cake, put all the ingredients in a bowl, stir them up and mix them up real good. But if you do not place this combination in the right temperature, there will be no cake. There will be Nothing that you set out that's likened to a cake that will manifest. But the right temperature, and I sense the Lord saying, turn up the temperature. Turn up the temperature. Turn up the heat of your prayers. Turn up the heat of your thanksgiving, praise, and worship in this hour. Turn up the heat of expectation. Turn up the heat of your desire. What is it that you desire? Let it ring out. What is it that you're wanting in this season? Remember, God has spoken. And he said, when we commit our way unto him, delight ourselves in the Lord, that he would give us the desires of our heart. God sent his word today to heal you and deliver you from all destruction. He sent his word to rescue you. Where the spirit of Christ is, there is liberty. So turn up the heat. God wants to manifest that cake. He wants to manifest those things that you've been waiting on. Those things that have been stirring in your heart. It's time for manifestation. All right. Be encouraged. There are some people who have a burden that God has placed on their hearts to pray for certain things. Sometimes it's certain seasons. Sometimes it's continually. Nevertheless, I sense the Lord saying, be encouraged and do not give up. That your prayers have been heard and that your name is known in heavenly places. So continue to fight the good fight of faith. And he is mindful of you in this season. And he is not unrighteous that he would ever forget your labor of love. It weighs more than I can say. Thank you for your service. Somehow right here I am impressed to tell you this. I wrote a book the long way around entitled... Who is Josephine Delight? And and this woman went through a whole lot of stormy weather. But before she came out, you know what she did? She dreamed. And then she began to visualize. She went there before she got there. 
And as a result, things begin to materialize. God has an unusual way of causing dreams to manifest. All right now. You are really on earth for a purpose. And perhaps my purpose is to share with you. It's time to get started in that thing. It's time to come up out of your comfort zone. It's time for you to walk on the water. It's time for you to surrender. It's time for you to make a decision for God Almighty. All right now. I've come to tell somebody that the Lord says two fish and five loaves are enough when you put it in his hands. No more excuses. All right now. Father, you are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be honored. You are awesome in this place. You're marvelous. You're more than amazing. You're the almighty God. You're sovereign. You're majestic. What a wonder-working God you are. Omnipresent, omniscient, omnipotent, all-powerful. God, we ask, Father, that you will behold the individual that's listening to this prayer and their families and loved ones and keep them protected and in your care. Use their lives for your glory. God, we thank you for giving them an idea from heaven. In Jesus' mighty name. And get your glory from their story. Let them walk out this idea. For your glory, Father. By the way, the Lord says, You do have a story to tell. You do have a story to tell. Tell how he bought you out and tell what he's about. God speak. You have really been through a whole lot of pressure, but that pressure was birthing pains. And now you're getting ready to behold the fruit that's coming forth from that pressure. It is your due season. Now yield and let God feel. Philippians 4.4 Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again. Rejoice. Remember, don't let no sunflower outpraise you. God is worthy to be praised by his children at all times. 
let a praise continually be on your lips and keep your face toward the sun. And if the sunflowers can look at God, why not you?